Round two, we won the die roll. Playing first. Yeah, it's a good hand. We get to go Guardian and Mystic. And Hunt the Weak and Mystic are probably the two best cards together in our deck. Hunt the Weak kind of needs a Vine Shaper Mystic body. One, three bodies for days. Okay. Naturalize is actually very good against Baffling End. Well, we can leave up Crashing Tide, I suppose. Or we could Aggressive Urge, but... They both draw a card. I guess we'll do this because we we could have drawn, I guess, like a Jade Bearer, which we couldn't play, but still. Could have drawn like a Miscloaked Herald or something. Just another creature to jam. Okay, well, Hunt the Weak. Looking good. Not a bad draw there either, but we're going to hunt right now. I'm going on the hunt. Okay. It's kind of a weird one in there, isn't it? Mm. I think we just tempo play here. I could actually just kill the token. I'm going to crash the four drop, though. I'm going to tempo. Yeah.
Mm. I'm going to Crashing Tide the token. This way it dies a draw card. I still get another play, so another Crashing Tide. And I don't want to do it to the Paladin, because then they just replay it. So we'll go Stalker, I guess. It's a little more evasive. Okay. Because they're just going to block the stalker, right? Let's go this then. Play the sculptor and we'll bounce the stalker. Because the stalker gets blocked anyway, I guess, by the Raptor Companion. Hmm. So this becomes a four four, huh? All right, I think we have to find removal for... Oh yeah, this can make that fly too. Hmm.
so we can definitely bring in two naturalized. We see Strider, Harness, Mark of the Vampire, and Baffling in. So plenty of tools out of sideboard that'll help here. I'm not sure that I want to do a... Uh, I'm not entirely convinced that I want to do... Um, negate. So a costly plunder. Baffling in, Mark of the Vampire. Seems to be quite a bit of overlap, but black-white is kind of notorious for having a lot of removal, so I feel like negate could be useful, but I think I'm just going to settle with the naturalizes. So we'll bring in two naturalizes. I don't think we'll bring in the negate. Although, you know, it's actually, that's brutal against costly plunder. So they still have to sack the creature and then they don't get to draw the cards. That's actually pretty good. That's kind of making me want to reconsider a little bit here. So I may just bring it in. And the naturalizes. And then we cut the aggressive urge. I don't really love Hunt the Weak in here anyway. It does deal with some littler things, but I kind of liked what Secrets does usually, so I might like it more. I mean, Hunt the Weak in our deck in general is not going to be particularly good, although they didn't show us great bodies either. A lot of X2s and X1s. I mean, if I was going to cut any creature, it'd probably be a Sworn Guardian, just because Sworn Guardian's kind of whatever. Alright, I guess I'm I'm dropping the negate only because two naturalizes should be enough. And then I think I'm going to drop a Sworn Guardian. I think it's my least favorite creature in the deck. And that way I'm still at 15 creatures. I still have all the tools I need to combat. So let's do this. Yes. Yeah, it's a good hand. So Wayfinder and Divine Shaper Mystic seems pretty good. Mm, I'm going to actually graveyard that. It's certainly good, but with a tender shoot dryad in hand, we're a little more desperate for land at the moment. Hmm. It's actually the first time I've seen it played. It doesn't look like a... Well, I guess it does look like a vampire. Looks like one of the conquistadors. 
maybe it's like the ability doesn't strike me as particularly uh, vampire-ish, but all right, let's mystic it up. Okay. Hmm. Well, I think we just smash with a wayfinder. And kind of need to draw land, but we can play a Sworn Guardian and a Jade Bearer here, which is not bad either. Adonis Climb could probably get us there too, actually. All right, let's just go Sworn Guardian, Jade Bearer. Actually, I think I'm going to pump the... Well, this is interesting, isn't it? If I pump the Wayfinder, I can't kill them next turn anyway. But it does change the clock. Adonis Climb will just win. Hmm. I think we're going to do the Sworn Guardian. Like I said, I have to wait a turn anyway. And I kind of like having two two fours here. It's tough to play the Adonis Climb because I wanted to leave up the Crashing Tide. All right, Bishop Soldier. Well, if they have Vampire Zeal, they can only kill one of our guys anyway, so this is fine. Or Moment of Triumph, sure. So I kill one of our guys. Trade a moment for a Vine Shaper Mystic, which admittedly is not a great trade. Plus they gain a bunch of life, but I think ultimately it's okay with me. So why don't we just Adonis climb and do we want to flip it yet or do we want to wait? We can't use it anyway so I think we actually just pump the guardian. That way we can just flip it next turn. So now we just hang out. And then if we pump Wayfinder next turn and flip it, we get in for 10, which is pretty huge.
Uh, creature type, they plus one, plus one, and they have vigilance. Okay. So let's just go tender shoot. And still don't need to flip the thing yet, so we could pump our tender shoot dryad, I guess. I don't know what exactly the difference between two and three is in terms of saving it from removal, but let's make some guys. Sure. You can use this defensively as well, right? Yeah. Good to know. So I think we're just going to play the secrets and ideally draw land. I'd be surprised if we didn't. Yeah. And then we can leave up the Hadana's climb. Because I think we're scheduled to just win on the back of some uh three threes at the moment. The longer this goes on the better shape we should be in. Hmm. So I'm going to have to sack. Is it round, it's rounded up. Alright. So we'll have to sack Jade Bear and some Sapperlings. I mean, I have naturalized for Radiant Destiny if I need it. Right now, we kind of want to keep up this Adonis climb to block the Revenant with our Sworn Guardian. So I can't use it? Oh, I haven't flipped it yet. That's why I can't use it. Well, I suppose we better bounce then. Still just going to hang out. Alright. They don't even want to. They're like, you know what? Not interested. Okay. Bonus hunger. Jeez. So, I've seen enough things where negate's coming in. 100%. So, we'll bring in the negate. And I'm still just having a hard time deciding what to cut. Might be Hunt the Week. Although, like I said, most of the bodies they have are pretty unimpressive. So Hunt the Week actually does stuff, which is nice. Crashing Tide is just too good, though, obviously. Going to 14 creatures is a bit worrisome. 
I don't really want to cut Hadana's climb. I don't really want to cut secrets. Don't want to cut a creature, because if I would, I would just cut my other Sworn Guardian. But we're getting a little bit too spell heavy if I do that. So maybe it's the Hunt the Week, which, like I said, I don't love. I don't love cutting that, but considering they have pump effects too, Hunt the Week can be a liability. All right, all right, all right. We'll cut the Hunt the Week. Hmm. On the draw, Jade Bearer on its own is pretty bad. We have the two most powerful cards in our hand. In our deck, rather, in our hand. But we need blue mana. And we're on the draw. Hmm. Not in love with this hand. Just can't decide how much not in love with it I am. Very challenging. Very, very challenging hand to decide on. Two most powerful cards in our deck in our hand. We have a Jade Bear we can play. We draw blue mana. We can get to Adonis Climb and pump it. Or protect. Or play against non-creature spells. Build towards Dryad. If we draw our green spells, we're fine. Two drop, one drop. I think I'm going to risk it. That, that That's a... Uh, very, very difficult hand to decide on. So, if I had the knowledge that there was a Storm Sculptor on top of my deck, 100% mulligan. Play the climb. So, we can play the Miscloaked Herald, leave up the negate, I'll probably do that. I hope I don't need to get to 7 mana to cast my Tinder Shoot Dryad, that would be bad. Pterodon Knight. Well, two cards in hand. I think we're just going to go for the tender shoot here. If it can survive a turn, I can leave up negate. I almost don't want to hit him. It's actually not the worst. I think we may need to take this hit because of Ascend, I believe. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if I lose a permanent, I'll go back down to eight. I think we do block here anyway, because I can still get City's Blessing next turn. So we'll play the deeper warrior. We can leave up negate at this point, which is nice. For protection purposes here. We got a lot of life we gotta dig into. Oh, they didn't have the city's blessing. I was like, why doesn't this thing have vigilance? But now I get it. Branch Walker is nice too, so why don't we cast that? Definitely leaving up that negate. Taking it all. Are they dead if I attack with everything? I guess not, because they're at 14 with the lifelink. Let's see. I attack with everything. They block my two guys. They might have a moment of triumph, too. We're just going to attack like this.
All right. By my count, we've won 100% of our games with Tender Shoot Dryad, so sweet. See you round three.